have a problem with the word love. I came from the Middle East, and people kill each other because they love this person, and they kill anybody who doesn't love him. And other people love that person and fight, or love this country and kill the other country. So they, they're coming from love. They do love. Whatever he does, I love him. Or my father taught me to love him. My father taught me to love this mountain because I'm from the mountain. People in the city are not nasty. But it's, it's from love. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in a country with a civil war for 30 years, and everybody is fighting because they love something. I'm protecting what I love. What is this love that I'm talking about? Well, yeah, there was one point when the Spirit told me this one simple little phrase, which was very helpful, which <coughs> was, love has no object. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very important phrase, because it undoes everything that's a masquerade of love. So if love has no object, I mean, everything that you mentioned, and we could go across the world in any culture, and we could find those same examples, you know, I love my child, I love my wife, I love my country, I love my Course in Miracles book. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter what object you put after that love. As soon as you objectify it, it's, it's not it, because it breaks the definition. Another thing we could say is that, that love is purely abstract. And then the next question can be, okay, what is abstract? Uh, there is no example of abstract in the world. You could go to a museum and you could go to the part of the museum that has abstract art. It has less specific details, so that's kind of pointing you in the direction. Ooh, milky colors and whatever, you know, shapes or kind of indistinguishable shapes and so forth. That's like a movement towards the abstract, but abstraction is, there is no example in this world, and we could say that love is abstract. So, when we say, I love, and we put something after it, which like the, the bumper stickers do, <laughs> I love New York, or I love whatever, you know, that, that is an example then of, of what isn't love. And then, when you start to take it in a little bit deeper, then you start to get into, we could call it relationships. Beyond what seems to be countries and sacred mountains and sacred rivers and everything that wars are fought over, you know, you cross the line. <laughs> that's mine, you know, and so on and so forth. No, that's my temple. No, it's not. It's my sacred temple. No, it's my sacred temple. No, my sacred saint was at that temple. No, no, it was my sacred saint that was at that temple. Could they have been there together? No. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, the objectifying is oblivion. So, you know, when St. Francis would make prayers, you know, and part of his prayer, you know, was, was the prayer was, you know, that I may die to be born again. Well, the Spirit really never dies. You don't really have to die to be born again, but you do have to let go of the belief in death, which is really what he was pointing towards. And anything that, that becomes an object freezes down a universal will into a particular form. Uh, that's a definition that Jesus talks about in the Beyond All Idols section of A Course in Miracles. Uh, he says, uh, what is an idol? Do you think you know? What a great way to start out <laughs> a, a paragraph. What is an idol? Do you think you know? An idol is for more of something. It does not matter more of what. Oh my gosh. More <laughs> is an idol? It does not matter more of what. That's the, the way of the world. Bigger, better, faster, more. How are you doing in your career? How's your love life doing? Are you married? Do you have any children? How's your bank account doing? You know, on and on and on. Those are supposed to be things that you're supposed to be answer with big and getting better and more and da 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 da. You know, and this is a teaching that's coming in and it's saying, no, 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 it's not about more of anything. 
It's about a state of acceptance of what has ever been, what is always here for us. So it's, we strengthen it by, by teaching these ideas and demonstrating these ideas. So you can feel like this love vibe that comes from this state of love and acceptance with no matter what happens. And that's the beauty of this. And I think that you'll find that, you know, as we go deeper into things, that it just starts to, this state of acceptance just starts to feel more attractive. Like your mind's like going, wow, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's what I want, that's what I want to experience.